Hi, my name is Gary Mertz. I've been a Grateful Dead fan for, and it's going on, I have to do the math, I'm 45 years, I'm guessing. I don't know what attracted me. I think that it was, I had always been a music fan and listening to music just helped me understand and make sense of what was going on and the Grateful Dead spoke more to me than than most of the, most of the, of the music. Actually, I followed the Dead Around for a number of a number of summers, and it was in there. The late 70s, early 80s, I and mean, it's a long time ago, so it kind of blends blends together. And I would I would schedule my vacations from where I was working based on when the Grateful Dead was going to be doing their East Coast swing. And they'd usually start in Philadelphia and then come to New York, and that's when we but that's when we'd start up with them. We'd go to see a couple couple shows at Madison Square Garden. We'd drive with them up to Saratoga. I'm not saying drive with them, drive with other people and go into the shows because, and you could always tell who's going to the shows because they were never going over the speed limit. And then we'd go from Saratoga to Syracuse to New Haven or Hartford and maybe to Boston. And that's about as far as we had, that's about as much time as I had. So again, it was a, a sense of community and you would see people, you'd see the same people over and over again and you'd start to be, develop a relationship with them. It was fun. The albums never, never captured exactly who they were, exactly what they were about, exactly the, the aura of the, of the tribe that was there, of the people who'd gone to go to see them regularly, of what they meant to people. The albums could never even come close to capturing that. They were not that sort of a commercial, commercial band. A lot, a lot of their success came from Jerry Garcia. I, he was the obviously the the, the, the head of the, the so-called head of the band. He never, saw, I don't think he ever saw himself like that. But he was the premier musician in the band, um, and he set he set sort of the the aura of the hey everyone do the hands off the everyone do what they want everyone take care of each other persona that they had. He was, he certainly was the uh, driving force behind it. I think that the, 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 the way they wrote the songs, the way they played the songs, it, it certainly touched something within me that I knew that that was that was a way I was able to express myself through that music, even though it was someone else playing it.